<laughs> All right, Kirk Fletcher, having a little fun with the guitar, and I want to talk talk a little bit today about different styles and different eras of blues and kind of my little short, like, just give a little brief chat about some different styles and the different eras and things like that in blues, you know. But before we get started, you all know I have launched a GoFundMe for the making of my latest record that's going to come out in, Ju in July. And I would love it if you could go down to the link in the description and contribute what you can. It's greatly appreciated. From beginning to end, it's all about, you know, me getting my music to you, the listener. You know, with not too much in between other than some promotion and things like that, you know. So, all right, let's be in this together. <laughs> and all right, let's get started. So, you know, the things that uh, appeal to me, I really love history and I really love, you know, musical, knowing about different eras and kind of what was going on in that time. And a lot of times you can find out a lot of stuff if you just listen to the lyrics of a song or the era and things like that, you know. A lot of times, you know, people would play me things, you know, people that don't, aren't really musicians or whatever. They would play me things and i go, oh, that's from the 60s. Oh, that's from this era or that's from this era. Because, you know, a lot of times I would listen at music and I would go, oh, well, that's probably the late 40s or whatever like that. Or the 20s or, you know, different things. Because, you know, what was popular music during those times, you know? What was going on? You know, you had, you know, the 20s and things and people would go out and dance and swing and different things like that, you know, so the guitar wasn't as prevalent, you know, in the 30s and 20s and 30s and stuff like that, you know. And and also, you know, it was more of an accompanying instrument, you know, when you have your big bands and different things like that. If they did even have a guitar, it would be kind of a, more of a accompanist and not really a solo instrument until guys like, you know, Eddie Lang and Charlie Christian and people like that came along. And also with blues, you know, you have, you know, the thing that appeals to me that's fun is to dig um, get different ideas from those different um, eras and incorporate it into my own style or different eras. But I feel like you kind of have to know the foundations to be able to apply these different techniques with anything you do in life. It's like that, you know? <laughs> so, you know, what I'm getting at here is like, uh, say you take, you know, like a uh, kind of pre BB King era, you know, stuff, you know, the singing string in his way didn't really exist before he came along. That's why he's B.B. King, one of the greatest ever, you know. And I like drawing from different ideas. When you think about people like uh, T-Bone Walker and things like that, and even like Lonnie Johnson, and even some of the country blues players would kind of um, bend strings a little bit in a certain kind of way, Big Bill Bruins and different people like that, or you at the bottleneck. You know, so just to kind of incorporate some of those ideas, you know, like that thing I played at the beginning, you know, playing different ideas like, you know, that's a lot different than playing. You know, that really didn't, you know come on the scene yet, you know? So it, it's more like, you know, playing, you know. And swinging, swing was a big thing because the big bands, you know, and all that. And that influenced so many different things. When you think about Chuck Berry and people who came along later, you know, that style really influenced their approach to music, you know? And that's, that's just a beautiful thing, you know? Like you take for an in for instance, like something like uh, T-Bone Walker, you know, playing the intro to a song, you know, he's not starting it off like, you know, which is cool too, but it's more of a jazzy approach because that's what was going on at that time. It's 
not singing. It's more, you know, just straight. You know, but you can hear where a lot of those ideas came from for later players like B.B. King and all the, you know, so many different players that came afterwards all over, you know, because that's really the basis of so much that we do, you know. You might hear a saxophone or a piano player play something similar to that, you know, and that's... You know, along with Blind Lemon Jefferson and people like that, that's what T-Bone was listening to, you know, and, you know, what was going on at the time, you know, and you wanted, it was about dancing and this whole other thing besides just loud electric guitar, you know, that we all know and love. <laughs> but, you know, I just wanted to kind of talk about that and also, you know, even like country blues, you know, there was amplified country blues like from the delta you know muddy waters and different people like that came along and amplified a lot of those ideas you know like you got totally flipping the subject you know you got things like uh you know those kind of things like that, you know, and it's just knowing those and knowing how to incorporate and call upon those things to dress up your blues now in 2022. And that's the beautiful thing, because you want to make the blues exciting. You want to make it fun and you need to really have a depth in these different styles, you know, and incorporate that into your blues. Then you have way more places to go, you know. So if you ever get stuck, you know all of this stuff, you know, and it's not saying that you have to copy it exactly or anything like that but just knowing about it and knowing that and having that it's like anything else you know in life you know you study for a test you study to do your job or whatever that may be and the blues is the same way you know so if anybody tells you it's only three chords tell them kirk said that it's a, a life's work <laughs> i hope everybody's doing good today and remember you know if you can Spare it, definitely, um, please contribute to my GoFundMe for Heartache by the Pound. My new record is going to come out in July. I can use your help. All right. See you soon. Take care. <laughs>